Hello again and welcome back to our course on Excel 2019 Advanced. In this and the next few sections we're going to be looking at graphs and charts and I'm going to assume that you have pretty good knowledge of working with graphs and charts already. Not only most of the most popular types of graphs and charts but also various different aspects of formatting them. What we're going to be concentrating on here are some of the more esoteric types of graphs and charts and in particular looking at the sort of situations in which they are used and also aspects of their customization and formatting that are specific to them. And we're going to start with area charts, probably a very underused type of chart and one that can be used very badly but one that can also be useful for example in presentations. Now I'm going to use this particular workbook, Team Monthly Sales, to demonstrate area charts and the sheet that you can see here is the commission sheet which shows the commission that each member of the team earned in each month of 2015. Now just to get us started, let's take a look at Andy Carruthers, the first team member's commission figures for 2015. And we're first going to look at his figures with a line graph. So let's highlight and then go to the insert tab. And of course, recommended charts will show us the recommendations there. And as you can see, it's recommended a clustered column. But if I click on all charts at the top and go to line, I have a variety of different line charts. So let's do that basic line chart and click on OK. So that's the line chart for Andy. I'm going to assume you know how to do things like add labels to the axes, change the title, change the colors, etc. And that's not really what we're looking at here, although we will do some formatting in later sections. But first of all, note the fundamental idea here is that you have something changing over time. But one alternative way of representing this type of variation is to use an area chart. And of course, on the ribbon in the design tab, you have a change chart type button. And if I go down to area, one of the options, the first option there is this one. So if I double click, and that's now an area chart. Of course, it shows the exact same information, but some people find it to be a bit more impressive in a presentation situation. Now, although it can be impressive, there are problems with area charts as well. Now, what I'm gonna do is change the selection of the data for this chart. So let me move the chart out the way slightly. And I'm going to pull this corner down so that I select all of Team A. And you'll see that immediately the chart updates. And what I get now is this rather baffling two-dimensional area chart, which I personally find is all a bit confusing. It's not all bad news though. In some situations, this type of area chart can be made to be quite useful. So for instance, let's go up to the Change Chart Type again. And let's change it to a 3D area chart. And with a 3D area chart, everything becomes a little bit clearer. Now in 3D, it's a lot easier to see the different sales performances and something else you can do to help this. Let's choose Andy's figures. And what I'm going to do is right click and select Format Data Series. And you'll see I get a panel pop out on the right. I'm going to go over to the Fill. I'm going to go down to Color and select More Colors. And one of the options under More Colors is Transparency right at the bottom. Now at the moment, Andy's slice in the area chart has zero transparency, so I'm going to give it let's say roughly 30% transparency and click OK. And now you can see quite a lot of what's behind Andy's area chart. You can still make out the detail of Andy's chart, but the transparency can often help you to see 
the chart or charts immediately behind it. So the use of transparency in any of these charts that have a solid element, particularly the 3D ones, can be very useful. Now let's look at one other option for area charts that I think can be useful in a presentation situation. So let me deselect Andy and go back to the change chart type. And this time I'm going to go for a 3D stacked area chart. And again, this may look quite baffling, but in a presentation situation, it can be quite useful. And the way in which it can be quite useful is this. As you look at each month for the year, so say for February, you can see what proportion of the commission was earned by each member of Team A. And if you hover over Andy's figures for February, you can see that his commission was relatively low and you can see that Michael's figures for February were very good in comparison. Douglas's figures somewhere in between, Jeff somewhere in between, and Shu Ito has been quite disappointing as well. So you can not only give a good impression of the overall performance of the team for each month of the year, but you can see relative performances quite clearly as well. So that's area charts. Let's look next at surface charts.